Hi guys, it's Chrissy again for the third installment and final installment of Stress Resilience. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit, so I had just shown a um, graphic where we were talking about the domains of resilience and I, we said, oh, we identified areas that you can be um, resilient in your mind, body, spirit, and social. Um, but I wanna focus more on the mind for a second. Um, now, in the first video, I talked a little bit about Kelly McGonigal's research with how mindset has a direct relationship to how you view stress will have a direct relationship to how your body handles stress. Um, there are three attitudes of resilience that I want to talk about, and these are called the three C's. So if you've ever heard of that before, this is what we're talking about here. Um, similar study to Kelly McGonigal. Um, but she talks about how she studied a group of high-level executives um, and then studied whether they had stress-related illness. The people that did have stress-related illness, she shoved those other over to the side. I'm not going to study those people anymore. But the people who had um, a relatively high amount of stress but didn't have any related stress illness, um, she then interviewed them and asked them how they viewed their stress. And they all used these words... Um, in their interviews, challenge, control, and commitment. So challenge, I talked about earlier with that graphic, I have this amount of stress, but I have all of these resources available to me that will register in our mind as a challenge. So that would be like, I realize that going to college is very stressful or getting a degree is stressful. I realize that maybe being married will be very um, stressful. I realize that having a child is not going to be a walk in the park. That's a challenge to me, it's not a threat. I look at the stress that comes to me as an opportunity for challenging myself and for bettering myself. The other thing is um, commitment. Um, and we have this in our um, Navy values, um, commitment. So I realized that I made a commitment by taking this job, by joining the service, by taking marriage vows, by deciding to become a parent, um, by deciding to better my career, my mental, um, or my physical health. Like people who run marathons are obviously very committed. People who get uh, degrees, very committed, right? I'm gonna make a commitment to myself and I, I'm challenged, challenging myself to see myself through that commitment. The last thing is control. Um, so realizing too, like let's just talk about COVID-19 for a second because we're all in this big scary space all together, right? So let's talk about, I like to draw two circles when I talk about control with service members. So I draw a big circle and I say, let's talk about all of the way, all of the things that you don't have control over. So let's talk about, let's say we're going on a deployment. On a deployment, I don't have control over what, when, where, how much I eat. I don't have any control over my sleep patterns. I don't have any control over when I can see my family again. Um, I don't have control over who I have to talk to, um, who I have around me maybe. Um, I don't have any control over my work relationships. And with time though, so I say, put all that stuff on the outside, like everything you can't control. And then on the inside in here, let's put all of the stuff that we can control. So sometimes they'll be like, eh. Okay, well maybe I have like an hour every day or 30 minutes every day. Um, so I can choose what I do with my free time. Okay. Um, maybe you don't have, you have control over maybe what your mindset is during that time. Okay, so mindset, we'll say that. Maybe you have control over whether you reach out to, like who you decide to confide in, right? Like who I open up to. But let's take a few of these others. For example, um, what I eat. Now, you might not be able to choose everything you want. You might not have the option to have Pizza Hut that night. However, most chefs will have the option for you to have um, a couple of options at the dinner table. Okay, so I can decide whether I eat that food, what I eat at that, at that meal time, or maybe to not eat that at that meal time. So I have a little bit of control, so I can actually move this into my area of control. Maybe not completely, but a little bit. Um, what about sleep? Like, perhaps, maybe my work schedule allows me to take a nap. If not, um, maybe I have 
uh, some control over what I do before I go to sleep. Like if I just decide to zone out on a screen or maybe I can um, take a few moments um, setting some gratitude or some affirmations or maybe just take a few deep breaths and close my eyes before I go to sleep. So with time you have some aspects that you can bring back. Um, for family, I can choose who I reach out to, perhaps, or maybe who I don't reach out to. With time, while we're focusing again on this inner circle of stuff we can control, rather than all of the things that we can't, we have a little bit more control um, in the stress that we have. So we're exercising that in those moments of uncertainty. And we're all kind of going through that right now. There's a lot of can'ts in our life right now, and not a lot of can'ts. However, if I decide to focus more on how I can work out at home, what meals I can cook in my home, how I can tidy my spaces. I feel a little bit more in control than if I just let everything go. So remember, challenge, control, and commitment when you are experiencing stress symptoms. And that applies to the four domains of mind, body, spirit, and social. The three C's fit inside each of those. So for example, I rem remind myself challenge, control, and commitment when I have a fight with my spouse or significant other. I remind myself of that when I have tr challenges with my children. They all fit within the same, um, the same domains. All right, so the last thing I wanna talk about to you, with you today is the concept of mindfulness. And I actually have more mindfulness videos, so if you ask me for those, I'm happy to send them to you. Um, mindfulness is basically the art of bringing your attention and your focus to the present moment. Mindfulness can be practiced while you are completing your daily tasks, um, like eating, sleeping, walking, exercising, uh, while you're doing working tasks. It's letting go of the narrative of all of the horrible things or worrying things that have happened to me in the past or all of the scary things that are coming to me in the future. The body and the mind only heal when they are at a state of rest. For most of us, that's when we're sleeping. And for most of us, that is, we do not get enough rest. Bringing yourself into a mindful state and then later a deeper state of meditation will allow your brain to rest and recover and will help you with stress resilience. So for me, being mindful helps when I'm changing tasks, for example. Um, You'll notice too, if you ever start experiencing high stress symptoms, you feel yourself kind of flipping from that green zone up into the yellow or the orange, taking five deep breaths at a regular slow pace can bring you back down into that green zone and can reduce your stress symptoms, okay? So mindfulness is intentionally noticing what's happening in your present moment, both outside what's happening around you and what's happening internally, your thoughts, your emotions. And then I also notice, you know, what, what is it like in this room that I'm in? What is it like outside? This is all kind of breaking down your mind and putting it into a, a more, more so into a, a state of rest. Um, and then we wanna think about the attitudes of openness, acceptance, and curiosity. We're never gonna get a totally perfect environment to practice mindfulness. But what we're doing here is just kind of like this graphic. If I'm walking, my dog is walking. He's only walking. He's not worried about when his next meal comes from. He's not thinking about his tax season. He's not thinking about that one puppy he knew back at his old kennel and if she loves him or not. He's just walking. Whereas we walk around with so much dialogue and inner turmoil that sometimes doesn't help us. If it's helpful, if it's a helpful thought pattern, great. Um, but we need to take a moment every day to bring ourselves into a mindful state so that we can rest and recover and perform more optimally. I'm not gonna get too much more into mindfulness just because of the time constraints we're under, but I do wanna say if you're interested in what mindfulness does for you, this is a um, VA free app. You can look for the mindfulness coach um, in your app store, you can download it. There's a tile here that talks about mindfulness training and it can give you more um, information on the research behind it and what it does for your body. And then later when you bring yourself into a meditative state, um, this is a good podcast to put you in that state. I would say this one, download it. This one works off of a network once you download the app. Um, mindfulness and meditation are created in that mindfulness is a concept. 
meditation is how we can practice it. Um, but look for more of those videos. And um, if you're interested in, in furthering your practice, um, try the Mindfulness Coach. Um, I will say too, um, some people are hesitant to try it because it feels very uh, crunchy. Um, I would say to those people, and I don't have the video, but Google LeBron James and mindfulness and see if you think that it's all a, a crack of baloney. Um, there are a lot of athletes, executives, high level CEOs, Olympians that use mindfulness to their benefit. And there's a community within the Navy that's been using it for years. So that's just something to think about. Thanks so much for watching. Um, let me know if this has been helpful in any way at all. We are, we are here for you during this crisis now. Feel free to call us for any of our services. We will work hard to get you the services you need in a, in a platform that works for you. Um, we're here for you and we're looking forward to seeing all of your wonderful smiling faces when we can all be together again. Thanks so much. Bye guys.